हेलो ऑल नीट एस्परेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल जाइनर नीट यू जी इंडिया स्मार्टेस्ट काउंसलिंग एंड गाइडेंस पोर्टल ह्योर वी आर गोइंग टू गिव सम टिप्स फॉर द पेरेंट्स टू गाइड द चिल्ड्रेन ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम टिप नंबर वन यू नो द एग्जाम टाइमिंग इज फ्रॉम टू टू फाइव ट्वेंटी पी एम बट द एग्जाम सेंटर क्लोज इज बाई वन थर्टी पी एम सो प्लीज हैव अ चेक ऑन दिस you will be notified about the center by the admit card some 10 days prior the exam right so it is the responsibility of the parents to check how far the exam center is if possible plan a visit one or two days prior the exam day and have a check how long it will take to travel and all the community i mean commutation problems and all those things so please have a check because after 1:30 pm your kid will not be allowed inside the exam center the next the candidate will not breach any examination rule the candidate will not use or promote any unfair means activity during the examination it is the responsibility of the parent to tell tell the child he should be ready for all the scrutiny checks by the invigilator the last minute panic should be avoided by the child so it is the responsibility of parent to mold the child mentally for the last day and another important thing the child itself will be on high tension due to last minute preparation and all those things so as a parents it is the duty of them to tell the child to be calm to give his best so whatever may be maybe the question paper may be tough or like he uh, at that last moment he might do some careless mistake or he may be having a high excitement about the last end result so you as a parent should be with them support them tell them okay you do your best and don't worry about the result whatever it is we can face it together this is one uh, i would say the golden advice which you can give to the uh, students before going to the exams i'm sure this will enhance their performance on the examination day the next step is the candidates if in case the candidate finds another candidate using unfair means in the examination the same will be immediately informed to the invigilators on duty yes your student is not going to do any unfair means but it is as well the responsibility of your child to report if any other student is committing any unfair practices because this may affect their performance as well right so if somebody is doing and if he is caught because of that it may create a problem right so if in case he is having a doubt or some issues regarding it you can give the courageness to your child to contact the invigilator if in case of any discrepancies for example if you have got got any um, discrepancy in the omr sheet or the number of pages or any other disturbances you parents have to give the child the courage to talk to the invigilator whenever possible next the items to be brought to the examination center as we all told take all these things a day before pack the kit it is the responsibility of the parents as well so work collaboratively and these are the things please have a check on that admit card along with the passport size photograph are fixed on it so first thing is the admit card which should have a passport size photo this passport size photo should be the same which they have uploaded in the neat application form so have a check on that because another passport size photo is also needed which is to be affixed on the attendance sheet next a valid original id proof make sure they carry a id proof which have a photo on it the next is one postcard size photo color photograph with white background the specification of the size is also given 4 cross 6 so this should be pasted on the pro forma which is downloaded along with the admit card so please check your children like whether they have taken the print outs of the admit card and along with the admit card there is the pro forma also so maybe the next two pages may might be the pro forma so please have a check if they have taken the print out of that as well and they have to carry this passport card photo size i mean pass for one postcard size photograph also to be affixed on it so have a check these are the things they should carry because don't think like only the admit card is needed these are the equally important things which needed to be carried by your child on the examination day so have a check without which they will not be allowed to enter inside the examination center the next is the candidate will not bring any barred item inside the center so in this brochure itself they have a list of barred items please check that your child is properly dressed 
according to the dress code mentioned and he is not carrying any barred items inside the examination center. The next is the candidate will cooperate with the staff at the examination center during frisking. The candidate will report at the allotted examination center well in advance to make themselves available for compulsory physical frisking. So tell your child not to panic if in case they found any other I mean if in case they wore any metal items if they are asked to keep it outside or handle at the last moment let them not panic so make them mentally prepared for that. The next is the candidate will follow the dress code so make sure they uh, follow the dress code mentioned here. The next is um, if they are going to wear any customary dresses, allow them to go prior around 12 o'clock because the examination center opens by 12. So make sure you are, beer, you are there before, I mean around 12 and uh, they are ready for all the physical examination. The next, the candidate will regularly visit the website and also check the registered email SMS for any updates. See your student, your child will be uh, so much busy in preparing for the exam. So any last minute updates they might miss. So please parents like you also visit the website for if any information has been put up or check their um, I mean email, registered email, registered phone number for any updates by the authorities. If in case your ward is found breaching in of the any above uh, mentioned um, information, the candidate will not be permitted for the exam. This and next, if your ward is uh, indulges in any unwanted activities, uh, he or she may be debarred from taking this examination as per the rules. And ensure that your ward reaches the examination center on or before 1.30 p.m. This is the foremost responsibility of the parents because you have to make sure that your child, I mean, is at the examination center on time. So plan a day in advance for any last minute panicking. These are the last details, last minute um, uh, tips for the parents to help their child. So I think this video would be helpful. Parents, please be cooperative with the, your child because they are preparing for their big day. Mentally, they would be draining. So it is the responsibility of the parents to boost them, to motivate them, to be with them in whatever situations. Don't panic them, please. And for more such interesting videos, subscribe to our channel, Zyner Need UG. Thank you.